It is a story Team 10 has covered before, the dangers of marijuana to young children. Jim Avila took a deep dive on the issue earlier this year, and today he was there at a hearing for a family accused of having a massive stash of marijuana in the home where they live with their children. It looks like any other house on the block, but San Diego police and now the district attorney say it's the first of many in the state to be busted for allegedly selling unregulated, unlicensed marijuana. In court today, a preliminary hearing for the husband and wife owners of the house, which police say was filled with thousands of edibles like gummies, peanut butter, beef jerky, and 300 pounds of loose marijuana. Not only ready for sale, but open and accessible to the couple's three young children, as these pictures are said to show. My reviews of the photos of the case um, were significant in allowing me to um, come to my opinion because it was very clear that there were cannabis products within easy reach of children. The couple is charged with child endangerment as well. Earlier this year, Team 10 revealed the dangers of marijuana to children, 120 hospitalized so far this year for ingesting mostly gummies left around parents' homes. The defense argued the couple, Jose De La Hose and Valerie Rafa, are legitimate marijuana dealers who just had not gotten their state license yet. Our, our clients were never given a notice as they were in the process of getting licensed, and they just came, searched the residence, seized the, the products, and charged them. That destroyed marijuana was worth $353 million and was recovered at multiple locations across the state, including seven here in San Diego. Jim Avila, Team 10.